KBAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. Got some cold air above us today and warmed up to near 80 degrees again. And as that happened, uh, like popcorn, the showers started to pop, even a few rumbles of thunder, and a couple of pretty good downpours, but things are really quieting down right now. There's one lone shower right now just east of Mount Joy, heading over toward Mannheim and up toward Ephrata, a little light shower activity. Pretty much not much out there at this hour. Looking live in the Lebanon Valley. There's a few patchy clouds, but sun's returning. So is a gusty wind. It's a little breezy out there at this hour. Uh, in most areas, are going to see winds northwest 10, 15, 20 miles an hour. Lebanon reporting a calm wind at this hour, but 74 degrees. Temperatures have dropped a little bit. And we'll continue to see those temperatures dropping out of the 70s down near 60. As we clear it out, it'll be breezy and turning a little cooler now. Overnight tonight will be clear most of the night. Late tonight, some clouds move back in. Before the clouds get here, though, we're in the low to mid 50s and a little bit of a breeze, but that'll die down too. Then tomorrow, 60s to near 70 degrees. Some showers are going to be around in the morning. Those clouds I was talking about, I think they're over around lunchtime. There'll be not everybody seeing rain, but you could hear a few rumbles of thunder again. Maybe possible. It's cold enough aloft. We even get a little pea sized hail out of some of these or smaller. But uh, again, I think it starts drying out. But look at the number 60s tomorrow. That's it. After a high today of 82 degrees. Yeah, it's going to feel much different out there tomorrow. Low humidity, too. By the way, officially just 12 hundredths of an inch of rain. It rained hard, but it moved on pretty quickly. Uh, morning low this morning was 66. So those numbers not far off from average. 77 right now in Lancaster and in Carlisle, but already down to 68 in Lewistown. 74 in Lebanon, as we mentioned. It's uh, 75 in York at this hour. Now, we're pretty mild, even still pretty warm to our south. But look at the numbers off to the north and west. Green Bay, Detroit, Syracuse, only in the mid-60s today. A, a lot of clouds, and B, also some pretty cool air. You can see the, the clouds kind of circulating in this direction. There's a big area of low pressure well up into Canada. Push the cold front through here. Now another little weak disturbance is coming through. There's another one back up in here, and that'll get here by late tonight. So we're clearing it out now. Here comes that next disturbance by tomorrow morning, already on our doorstep, but it moved through pretty quickly. So in the afternoon, we start clearing it out a little bit. And then high pressure is going to build east. But we're going to have a pretty strong northwesterly wind probably right on into the day on Thursday. By Thursday afternoon, that high will give us a, a pretty nice day. Low 70s, comfortable. There's a disturbance coming out of the Great Lakes. Hey, it could bring us a few clouds Thursday night or Friday, but even Friday looking pretty good. So 50s overnight tonight. Much different feeling. And then we're only in the 60s tomorrow. Temperatures only recovering back up into the low to mid 70s on Thursday. And it looks like as we get into uh, the weekend, we warm it up a little bit, but another chance of some thunder showers coming our way. So a couple of comfortable days after a breezy, cool one for tomorrow. Then the thunder showers come through during the day on uh, Saturday afternoon or maybe even Saturday evening. Can't rule out a stray shower still left over on Sunday. But Sunday's again another breezy and relatively cool day. Same with Monday. Eh, it gets a little better, maybe up near seasonal levels, near 80 degrees by Tuesday. I look beyond that, see if there's any warmer weather coming. That's coming up a little bit. Well, for now, we'll give the AC a break. I think That'll you can, yeah. yeah. All right, thank you, Joe.